Diddy's the devil. He's a straight up monster. Straight up monster. I feel like we haven't talked about this at all, this Diddy situation, because mostly I've been trying to avoid it, and it's kind of ridiculous, but he did do what most online personalities do. He put out an apology. So we're here to rate his apology, but first let's get a little familiar with the story. For those of you who are unaware, there's nothing quite like a video of Puff Daddy running down a hallway in a hotel mostly naked with a towel, <laughs> running to go beat his girlfriend <laughs> mercilessly. <laughs> and I'm sorry to laugh, folks, but you kind of have to laugh. This is ridiculous. It's unbelievable. And I'm not going to show the video. We will see some stills from it because CNN has the exclusive rights to the video. You can watch it on your own. Plus, who wants to see someone mercilessly beaten? But the... Stills from it are worth the price of admission alone. I mean, <laughs> there's, there's a ditty just standing there with, I guess, some socks on <laughs> and a towel. Because that's what that's how Diddy rolls. After he has mercilessly beaten his girlfriend, he then goes on to hurl vases at her after he stuffed her in the corner and tried to drag her back to his room. This is all pretty unfortunate. And it was his then-girlfriend, Cassie Ventura, back in 2016. Well, he has apologized. So we'll, we'll get into the apology. Uh, but he, there is rumors that he actually started seeing her, or at least he met her when she was 17, and he was grooming her to be a great artist. That's right, I said that word, which he was teaching her how to be a great artist, like, a, like an R&B artist, right? Not... For other, th well, I mean, probably for other things, because he did end up making her his girlfriend. They claim they met when he was nine, when she was nineteen, and he was thirty-eight. I'm gonna say maybe that's not right, but who knows? Who knows? Combs, a rapper, producer, business mogul, billionaire. I believe he's a billionaire. I don't know. No one seems to really know who he is anymore. Very strange. Uh, I, from what I understand, though, they were together for ten years, and then there was a lawsuit where um, she claimed there were other things besides the physical abuse. And I don't, I'm going to believe her on everything because now there's video evidence kind of showing it. There were five other lawsuits filed, but he f immediately settled. Just was the next day paid to make this go away, right? Although he put out a whole bunch of things that said all of it was lies and they were just there. Th to get financial money and in fact if you want to watch a really good video on this then i would suggest checking out nate the lawyer he's got a great video on this i will link it right up here check that out give him a like and subscribe he's a great youtuber and uh i'm sure he would appreciate just like we would appreciate a like and subscribe but he has this crazy you know you know he's been raided by the fbi nobody really knows what's going on he's been denying everything but now the surveillance video came out the hilarious thing is is the video which has been i mean the video at the the, the apology the video was a bombshell kind of like holy cow this is pretty gnarly this guy's a straight up monster but what we'd like to do is check out his super awesome apology video because we're gonna rate it because it's you know showed up online and as most celebrities do they feel the need to apologize for all sorts of stupid things. But this one might be, might take the cake. Difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life. Sometimes you gotta do that. Let's So let's start, only Diddy could do this where he's in some sort of cabana and he's like, I'm just gonna whip out my phone and I'm gonna do an apology right here. He also, I mean, he looks terrible because I'm sure he's under a lot of stress. The FBI doesn't raid you for no reason. Usually, I mean, sometimes they do. But in this particular circumstance, I think there's a little bit uh, warranted to do that. But so far, you don't make your apology in an expensive cabana. Like, you should do it maybe in church or so, I don't anywhere but here. I was f***ed up. I mean, I hit rock bottom. But I make no excuses. You mean you hit her with rocks 
and you hit her bottom. Is that what you're trying to say here, Diddy? Hmm, confused. But he makes no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my... So if you take full responsibility and it's inexcusable, are you turning yourself in for jail time? Because that's normally what happens to regular folks who do this kind of stuff. I don't think you're doing that. So I don't see any accountability here, but let's go. Ash is in that video. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it. I'm disgusted now. So disgusted that you called her a gold digger? Gotcha. I went and I sought out professional help. <laughs> I had to go into therapy. Mm, all that therapy. Rehab. Had to ask God for his mercy and grace. He's got that checklist. Sought professional help, God, therapy, rehab. You got it. I'm so sorry. But I'm committed to be a better man each and every day. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm truly sorry. He's not asking for forgiveness from anyone specifically. <laughs> you, shouldn't you apologize to Cassie Ventura for, for that's, I mean, that's who you specifically should apologize to. I mean, on a scale of one to effective apologies, it's pretty not effective on a scale of one to has giant huevos who doesn't feel like he could be culpable or accountable to anything. 10 out of 10. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. What would you give his, his apology? I think that one's a hardcore. Could be go down as the greatest apology. This is the format for all apologies going forward. I don't see any problems with this apology whatsoever. And that he should double down on that apology and perhaps apologize for other things. Maybe, maybe this could be a trend where Puff Daddy is not held accountable He's not asking for get for forgiveness, but he is sorry. <laughs> and that's a little maybe she should have thought this one out better. But uh, you know, he's gotta do him. In the meantime, catch our full length audio podcast on iTunes. You can also catch us streaming here on YouTube, also on the big green machine. Uh we live stream 7 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on YouTube, greatest of all YouTubes, and the R word, right? But uh in the meantime, thank you for watching. Give me that apology rating. What would you have changed? And uh, I am on to the next one.